You ever go out to the movies with your friends and you see a movie and everyone loves it, critics love it, fans love it, it's getting really good reviews, and you come out of the movie going, I don't think I like that very much. In fact, I think I hated that movie. Well today, I'm going to give you guys some popular recent movie releases that everyone loves that I hate. So let's get started. This video is going to contain spoilers, so you have been warned. Okay, starting off this list, you ever see one of those movies where the movie's okay, you're enjoying it well enough, and then the ending is really shit and you're like, fuck it, I hate this movie now? That happened to me with the Lego movie. The Lego movie was a movie that I was kind of into, I was enjoying it enough. And then the ending kicked in with the, the whole human element, you know, that you find out that the it's just the kid playing with his Legos and Will, S and Will Ferrell is actually the dad and, you know, the kid was pretending that he was Lord Business. Yeah, ruined the movie for me, really did. And, and I'm not a fan of the Lego movie, I don't like it. And it was one of those movies where it was okay until the end, the end killed it, and now I don't like the movie. Okay, here's one I'm gonna cop some shit for, okay? The next one on my list is Inside Out. Inside Out, 2015's Pixar movie, everyone loves Inside Out, okay? I mean, everyone. I haven't met a single person that didn't like Inside Out. I'm the only one I know who didn't like that movie. I thought it felt more like it should have been one of those Pixar shorts that they put at the beginning of their movies and it was just dragged out into this two hour movie and it just, it was boring to me. Pick, uh, Inside Out was boring, it had a couple of laughs and there was some really, the, the funniest things to me about Inside Out were the, were the bits that played during the end credits with, you know, the, the bus drivers all having the angry emotion and, the, and you see inside dogs and cats heads and all of that. Those were the funniest, most entertaining bits about Inside Out for me. Everything else about that movie pretty much bored me and bing bong, don't even get me started. Here's the most annoying thing I've ever seen since Jar Jar Binks. Next up on this list is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Unlike the original Harry Potter movies, this movie didn't really have a lot of charm. It, for me, it didn't work. Eddie Redmayne's Newt Scamander was kind of anti-charisma. He just, he, you know, he wouldn't look you in the eye and he was all shy. And, and that kind of character really doesn't work when he's your lead guy. And it just felt like a slog fest the whole way through. It was boring, it wasn't interesting. The most interesting character was the side character, Jacob Kowalski. And he wasn't even a wizard, and he was the most interesting character by far in that movie. And also, casting Johnny Depp was just a huge mistake. I'm sick of Johnny Depp. Also, Fantastic Beasts just felt like two movies crammed into one. You had this element of Newt losing all his magical creatures out of his suitcase, and then you also had like this domestic abuse kind of storyline going on with a bunch of other characters that just felt really jumbled and like, the two stories didn't really connect, so they had to try and make them connect. I felt like Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them would have been better if you focused just on Newt losing his creatures, finding them, and then eventually, at the end of the movie, accepting responsibility. But he doesn't accept any responsibility in the movie at all for losing those creatures and terrorizing the streets of New York City. Okay, here's another one, and everything on this list I'm gonna cop shit for. I know it, you know it, you're all gonna give me shit in the comments below. And Moana was just kind of another generic princess story. It didn't really do anything for me. I liked the, I liked the acting, I liked some of the songs. Dwayne The Rock Johnson in anything, I will, I will go and watch. But this movie didn't really have a lot of charm with me. And I felt like the ending was really anticlimactic and it didn't build up to where it should have been. I just, it just, Moana wasn't what I was wanting from it. And, and I was really excited to see it too. Okay, the last movie on this list I have to talk about because this is by far one of the most painful movie going experiences I have ever had. It is one of the most painfully boring movies I've ever seen in my life. It's one of those bad movies where I will never want to watch it again. There are some on this list that I will go and watch again. Like, I could watch Moana again and sit through it and get some enjoyment out of it. I could sit through Fantastic Beasts again and get some enjoyment out of it, even though I didn't like it very much. This movie I will never watch again, and this movie is The Revenant. Everyone loves Leonardo DiCaprio. He should have won an Oscar for this, he should have won an Oscar for that, he should have won an Oscar for this, and that, and that, and that, and that. They gave him his Oscar because it was pity. It was a pity Oscar. It was like, oh, you haven't won one, here's one. And this movie was boring as fuck. I hated this movie. I really did. I sat through it. It's like, this, 
all the Revenant is, is a great action scene at the start, which I was kind of into. I was sitting there, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm kind of into this. And then it just turned into scenery shot, Leonardo DiCaprio walking. Another scenery shot, Leonardo DiCaprio eating something disgusting. Scenery shot, it was like, let's see how many beautiful landscape shots we can fit into one movie. By the way, did you hear that they shot this whole movie with natural light? Of course you did, because they did nothing throughout the marketing campaign but keep telling you they shot it in natural light, even though no one really gives a fuck. Guys, The Revenant was boring, it wasn't interesting. I felt like the acting was subpar. I don't even think Leonardo DiCaprio deserved an Oscar for The Revenant. Sure, he deserves one for like everything else. I would have given him an Oscar for Wolf of Wall Street. I love Wolf of Wall Street. The Revenant just bored the hell out of me. It bored the hell out of the friend I was with. We're sitting there and 20 minutes in, I'm like, I want to leave, but I can't leave because then it would be a waste of the 20 bucks I spent to go and see this movie in the first place. So guys, those are the movies that I hate that everyone else seems to love. What are some movies in the comments below that you hate that just everyone else around you seems to just love and cherish? Let me know your thoughts on those movies in the comments section below. This is a very amped up video. I was really pumped up and excited to do this video. I wanted to just get some of my frustrations out there on camera. So if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share, whatever you gotta do, do it. And I will see you guys next time.